Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today, I am going to explain a 2021 thriller movie named, Resident Evil. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. At the beginning of the story, we see Orphan. Where we are shown one child, her name was Claire. She lived in Orphan with her brother Chris, because their parents were killed, they lived in Orphan. Claire sees one more girl there, which was quite strange. She goes and meets the girl and asks her name. Her name was Lisa, and her hands were tied. Orphan's doctors had experimented on her, due to which her body was changed and she looked very scary. After that the scene changes, in which we now see Claire, who was grown up. Claire ran away from Orphan when she was young and her brother Chris was on the same, who has now become a police officer and now after so many days, Claire comes to the Raccoon City to meet her brother. She takes a lift from a truck to come to the city, and then on the way one girl comes in front of that truck. Claire comes down to see the girl, and seeing her condition worsen, Claire tells the truck driver that they should take this girl to the hospital and have to tell the police. But the driver was very scared, and he convinces Claire to call the police. When they were arguing about this, the girl gets up and leaves. Her eyes were very strange. Seeing her going, the dog of that truck driver starts licking the blood of that girl. That girl had disappeared from there, which makes Claire and the truck driver very strange. After that, both of them also left for the city. Raccoon City had now become a deserted city where almost everyone had left. There were only police officers and some people who were poor. Then we see Leon, today was his first day at work. He was a police officer, and he had a night shift today. Because of which he goes to one cafe and falls asleep again, seeing him sleeping, the rest of the officers make fun of him, and then they leave for their work. Before leaving, the female police officer Jin says that you don't feel bad about their words, those people are good, just you do not know them all. After those people leave, Leon sees that the woman of that cafe was bleeding from her eyes, when he asks them they also do not know anything about this, and Leon advises them to go to the doctor only then one ravine bird collides with the window of cafe and falls down. We see that the bird had become one zombie. On the other hand, Claire had come to the raccoon city. After she left, we see that the dog in the truck looked sick and her eyes were also looking very strange. Just then the dog bites its owner. Claire goes to her brother's house and knocks on the door several times. Claire notices that there was a child standing in the window of the house next to her and her mother was also standing behind her. Seeing them, they looked sick, and there was not a single hair on their head. After knocking for a long time, no one opens the door, then Claire breaks the door's lock and goes inside the house, then Claire knows that Chris was taking a bath, that is why he did not open the door. Claire doesn't have a good relationship with Chris that Claire tells Chris that something is wrong with Raccoon City, and then shows him a video of one guy named Ben, who was from Raccoon City. He was talking to Claire in a video call which Claire had recorded. Ben knew a lot about Raccoon City and also about the illegal activities. Ben tells that the poison has spread all over the city. Actually, there was poison in the city's water, but Chris doesn't believe anything Claire says, and neither does Ben's video. On the other hand, we see Dr. William, who also had a daughter of one year. In the late night, he gets a call from someone and he leaves the house with his wife and daughter, then a red alert is issued in the city too. Chris was a police officer and due to this reason, he has to go outside. Before leaving, he gives some money to Claire and tells her to leave. After that, while Claire was in the kitchen, the woman next to her writes with her blood on the door, when Claire also notices that her son has entered the house. Claire goes to that child and asks if he needs some help but that child tells Claire that not me, but you need help, then the mother of that child comes from behind and attacks Claire, and then Claire saves herself and leaves with the bike of Chris. And she goes to find her brother. After that, we are shown the police station of Raccoon City. Their chief sends them on a mission, where a team had already been sent. When no response was received from the team which went to investigate a dead body, for this reason, Chris and his team were sent there. Since there was one officer who used to help those people who worked illegally in Raccoon City. Those people also sent him a message where it was written that Raccoon City will be completely destroyed at 6 AM. On the other hand, Claire meets Dr. William on the way, whom she recognizes only after seeing Dr. William. But Dr. William does not recognize her. We are shown that in that orphan, Dr. William tried to experiment on Claire as well. But Claire had run away. After that we see the same truck driver, he had turned into a zombie, and his truck overturns in front of the police station and catches fire. But that truck driver still doesn't die, his whole body burns in the fire, just like Ghost Rider, he starts coming towards Leon. But Leon had headphones in his ear, due to which he couldn't hear anything about them, then the chief comes from behind and kills the truck driver and asks Leon to close the main gate. Leon quickly closes the main gate and goes to the chief to inquire about what is happening in the city. But the chief does not answer any of his words and leaves from there with his sack of bed. Chris reaches the mansion with his team. The condition of the car of the previous team was very bad. 
There they see a zombie bird. Those people go inside the mansion where the zombie doctor was eating the leader of the previous team. They kill that zombie. On the other hand, the chief could not get out of the city because there was a lockdown on the whole city. All the places to go out of the house were closed. There were army men everywhere. They shoot at chief, and chief returns to the police station, but he is attacked by the dog of the same truck driver who has made a zombie, and then Claire comes there to help him and kills that dog. There were a lot of zombies outside the police station, while on the other side the entire mansion was full of zombies. In the jungle, the soldier who was inside the helicopter is also bitten by a zombie. He flies the helicopter to escape from there but is not able to go very far, and the helicopter falls on the Cresshawk mission. After that the same officer opens a secret door by playing a rhythm on the piano, he tells Jill everything about who he works for, which makes Jill very sad to hear. Jill asks him to move in with her, but he doesn't listen to her and then he goes inside the intelligence door asking for the virus. On the other hand, Leon finds Ben who is locked up in the police station. Ben asks Leon to open it, but Leon refuses, when Ben cleverly takes his gun and threatens him, so Leon has to open it. Then a man bites Ben from behind, that man is imprisoned there along with Ben, and he now turns into a zombie. That zombie also attacks Leon, but Claire comes and saves him. Claire sees Ben there and gets very sad to see him dead. The zombies break the gate outside the police station and start attacking the policeman. After that, those people start coming out and they reach the outfield from where Claire ran away. Claire's old bad memories are refreshed, there we also see the girl who was still kept there as a prisoner. Claire asks Chief the reason for visiting the place and they start arguing about it. When Leon sees the girl, she points Leon upwards and tells him to be quiet. And then we see the Chief being pulled up by a creature from behind and eating him in a few seconds, throwing his body down and a huge monster comes in front of him. That girl fights with that monster and kills him. Seeing Claire, the girl recognizes her. Claire asks her about the way to Manson and she gives her a key. On the other hand, Krish is attacked by a lot of zombies and then Jill comes to save him. She tells everything about the officer and also about the helicopter. Claire reaches a room below that door where she sees them doing an experiment on orphan children. Seeing this, Claire gets very angry and she tears all the pages kept there. We see that under that mansion, Dr. William along with his wife and daughter had come to collect the virus. There was a girl on top of the table whose chest was completely chopped off and she was tormented by pain. There that Dr. William used to do his experiments. Then that police officer comes there and asks Dr. William for the virus. But Dr. William refuses to give it and shoots at the officer. And the officer also shoots a lot of bullets at the doctor. Before he dies, Dr. William injects himself with the virus. That officer kills his wife too, but that child survives, and when he was about to kill that girl, Jill comes and shoots that officer. And then before dying, the officer tells to Jill that Raccoon City will be destroyed till the morning, and under that mansion there is a train that will take them out of this city. After that, Chris takes Jill and that girl and goes to find that train. And on the other hand, Dr. William transforms into a dangerous monster. He looks for Chris and a fight ensues between them. And when that monster was about to kill him, then Claire comes there. Both siblings fight with the monster and kill him and go towards the train. They think that maybe Dr. William is dead, but he was not dead yet and he wakes up again. This time he had become even more powerful monster than before. Those people start the train and start leaving from there, only then Dr. William attacks them again. He grabs Claire, when Claire attacks him with a knife, he throws her down. Chris fires a lot at him but it does not affect him. Then Leon shoots him with a rocket launcher and at last Dr. William is killed. By now it is 6 o'clock in the evening and the whole city is destroyed. Then in the ending of the movie, we see the five coming out of the tunnel and with this, the movie ends. I hope that you enjoy this video, if you want to make sure you never miss a new upload, be sure to subscribe to the channel Mr. Explainer, turn on notifications and click the bell icon, you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video like this.